G'day and welcome to my top 20 mod list for any new or old players of Space Engineers. Most of these mods are quality of life as well as any other mod I reckon should be installed on anyone's game. I'm going to show you what needs to be installed and what they actually do. Make sure you stick around to the end as I have an enemy NPC mod list you're more than happy to copy for your game save itself. First off, we've got the 1200 meter sensor range extender mod you see on the left hand side for the Steam Workshop and everything you need installed on the right for it to actually work in your game. All this mod does is change the vanilla setting of those sensors from 50 meters up to the 1200 meter range, which is absolutely fantastic for all of my drones from my survival series. The autofill bottle mod allows you to go into your cockpit or any of your control seats to enable you to refill your hydrogen and oxygen instead of the vanilla gameplay that does not allow you to do that. The automatic doors and airlocks mod allows a hidden sensor to be added to that vanilla door, whether it be the sliding door or the one on the left that you see. It allows you to automatically open those doors once entering a sensor range that you can set manually yourself in the actual door settings itself. The all scrap mods stops the return of any components into your inventory. It will change those steel plates as you see there into the scrap steel plates that you will need to put back into your refinery of sorts to turn back into that respective ingots that was created in the first place to make that original component as you see right there return the iron. Build vision has to be an absolute favorite of mine. And yes, it does need that rich HUD master dependency you see on the screen right there. What this mod allows you to do is you can look at any grid you want or any block, hold the control and middle mouse button to actually go into that little menu drop down to change any of those values, including renaming any of those blocks very simply and very easily without having to look through that control menu. Build info is definitely one that I have to mention, and this allows a lot of things. And yes, it does need that text HUD API mod you see just there. This brings all sorts of stuff and more additions to the game. And yes, it is slightly performance inducing, but it allows, as you see on the bottom there, I'm clicking through the G menu right there. There's nothing that brings up and everything needs to be put on those LCDs. With this mod installed, it actually brings everything up that you see on the bottom middle just there, just above the G menu to actually read specifically what each one can do. What this mod also allows you to do, and I absolutely love this thing, it allows you to find a leak. Hella HUD is one of many quality of life mods on this list, which allows a complete overhaul of your main screen from the blank gold gray and white colors to what you see on the screen now is beautiful coloring on all your health bar, your O2, energy, H2, and a few of your icons that you see here. The Colourful Icons mod is an absolute perfect mod in unison with the previous in terms that it overhauls each individual icon or component and gun etc etc in terms of changing it from the old grey and white to the nice and beautiful colours that you see here. The Easy Block Renaming mod is another quality of life that you see on this list that allows the ability to change and alter any of your block's names at the start or end or even reset it entirely nice and easy. The Edges Be Gone mod reduces the performance needed to play Space Engineers by removing all of those outskirt block edges and reduces the performance that it requires to actually render those in. The high range or detector mod allows exactly what it says to simply change that original value from 50 to 250 meters on those vanilla or detectors originally found in the game. The HUD compass mod is a very simple quality of life that allows a simple compass up in the top middle of your screen to show north, south, east and west. The no HUD tooltips mod is just another quality of life mod that allows a simple clearing up of your right hand screen when looking at different blocks or having different items in your hand as you can see on the screen just here. Production Quota is another quality of life mod for those of you that don't like managing your components or inventory by using a script. This just adds a simple block or addition to your assembler to allow the continuous production of all the components that you've set in the amount just there. The Smarter Suit mod is another quality of life that allows a multitude of things I won't go over in this video, 
but very simply it can automatically open or close your helmet detecting where you are whether you're in space or on an oxygenated planet like breathable etc etc i'll let you have a look at it in the description below Sneaky Sound's Quieter Tools is an absolute must-have for new and old players alike if you like your hearing. Watch out, this is a headphone warning as I'm not altering this. It's without and with the mod. I have to mention at the end of this and first off we have the water mod this adds an absolute multitude of things you can do in space engineers that wouldn't already be there including building ships whether they be battleships aircraft carriers all sorts of different things and this pairs extremely well with the industrial overhaul the daily need survival kit getting there in a second as well as the aerodynamics mod the Daily Need Survival Kit mod is an absolute must-have for any player wishing to spice up their gameplay. This adds a multitude of blocks and items to the game, including food, energy, stamina, water, different types of actual meals, blocks to the game, production blocks, and all of the above. Make sure you check this one out, as this has definitely got to be one of my favourites. The Defense Shields mod is a must-have for anyone that has any weapon mod or weapon core for the fact that it obviously does what the name entails. It gives you shields, it allows you to ram into stuff. This is my Fire and Forget missile that is also available on the Steam Workshop and Mod.io for you to download. So make sure you go and check out this one and heaps more. The multi-grid projector plug-in, not a mod, is an absolute must-have for any of those wishing to print more than one piston or grid using a projector or blueprint. I do have a tutorial for you to use this and install it in the top right-hand corner of your screen right now. I could be here forever talking about modular encounter systems and assertive combat systems in regards to adding additional enemy NPCs and bases to your saves. What I have on the screen right now is an actual working save with those two mods cohesively working together to add additional enemies to your saves. So go ahead and copy that one up. If you've made it this far in the video, consider hitting that like button to help share it to other people and help that YouTube algorithm. If you think I've missed out anything or any mod, please let me know in the comments below and make sure you hit that sub if you want to see more of this sort of thing. Till next time, stay sharp till then. See ya.